Hey guys! In today's video, we're building a guinea pig castle and we're going to show you how to do it and you get to see the guinea pigs explore their super cool guinea pig mansion. First, let's hear the jingle for the very first time this year. The first thing that we're doing is measuring our timber board. So we first mark our timber board to cut it into two pieces. Since we also want the towers to look like a castle, we have to saw them into the right shape. We are cutting two sides out of one board. And so for two towers, we need eight sides. We have eight sides now cut out of four boards and they all have this little wave pattern on top. Next up, we're going to make everything look much better and make it way safer for the guinea pigs and we're going to sand this part so that it becomes more even and the guinea pigs can't hurt themselves. This is one of the towers, this is what it's supposed to look like. And next we have to make a little level inside the tower because we want the guinea pigs to have a Heidi down here and then we also want a level here that here is another Heidi and then we want a bridge to connect these things. So the next step is to decide where we want to have the level, at which height. And we decided that's where the mark is, that this would be a good level, right here. We already marked where we have to saw next because this right here is going to be the level that's going to be inside the tower. Okay, so we have to sand this again, so that it's nice and smooth. The towers are supposed to be connected by a bridge, so what we're doing now, this is the line where the bridge is going to connect the two towers, and we're now making a little gate and a kind of measuring how big the gate has to be, and you can see that we're currently marking it on the wood. So we just drilled a hole to have an opening for the saw and then we can make that little gate. And done! And as always, sanding everything to make it really safe for the guinea pigs. For this first tower we want a bridge that's connecting to the other tower but we also want a little opening for a tiny ramp. So we are basically copying what we did with the other piece of wood. So we're going to make another gate which has the exact same size as the gate that we just cut. So we just copied the markings as you can see and then we're going to saw the opening into the wood and then we're going to sand this again um, and this is going to be the opening for the little ramp so that the guinea pigs can get up to their tower. Since we also want a little Heidi on the lower part of the tower, we're also cutting a little gate into the lower part of the wood. This is where the bridge or ramp will go and then in the middle there's going to be a level and then here is going to be another gate. This is what the finished piece of wood will look like. Now again we need to sand everything but pretty much what the tower will look like later. We're now getting ready to assemble the first tower and we're going to drill some holes um, for the screws. So this is the next step. So now we need to drill some holes for the level. Next we're going to cut the handrail for the bridge. Um, so our two towers are done and now we're getting ready to work on the bridge. We want a very thin piece of wood for the sides of the bridge. 
um, so we'll have to cut this large board into a couple of pieces. These are also going to be the sides for the ramp, so we'll need one, two, three, four, six of these thin pieces. Okay, and this is the bridge. These are the two sides. For the bridge base, we just used a piece of wood that was already the right size, so we bought that pre-made so we didn't have to cut anything. And then the sides, we just took two of them that we just made. And now we're going to drill the holes for the screws and then we're going to attach the sides to the base of the bridge. And then the bridge is done! The ramp is going to look the exact same way as the bridge, so we're just building a second bridge basically. So we have the base and then we have the two sides and then we're going to drill three holes on each side for the screws and this is going to be the ramp and then we'll also attach little steps on the ramp. Okay, these are going to be the steps of the ramp, so we're just measuring how much we need to cut. So this is just one really, really long piece. I think it's almost two meters long. Then cut it and then nail it to the ramp. And this is the finished ramp. Now all we need to do is to attach all of the things and then we're done. For attaching the bridge to the towers, we're going to drill two holes in here and then we're, we're going to take this little wooden thing that you can also get in the hardware store and we're going to put it into the drilled hole and then also drill a hole into the other tower and that's going to be what attaches the bridge to the two towers. And this is the finished product! I can't believe we're finally done and also this is way bigger than I imagined it. Wow, okay! And you can see the guinea pigs are back inside their cage. I put a fresh fleece liner in and now I'm going to put this huge thing inside the guinea pigs cage and I'm so excited um, what it's going to look like. Just a height comparison. This is me standing next to it. Okay, let's get this thing inside the guinea pig's cage. There it is! This is our finished guinea pig castle. So we have the ramp and you can see we have to probably cut something out right here because it's a tiny bit too big for our cage. There's the first tower, there's the guinea pig ramp, the second tower and a ramp to the second level. This is what it looks like. It's huge! Look how tiny Sylvester looks! Sylvester, you're tiny! Are you happy? Sylvester looks very happy. There's also a new Christmas Heidi that the guinea pigs got, or Pigmas Heidi rather has a really cute bow on top. Nugget is a checking out the Heidi. And as you can see, I put the fleece liner on the ram. So Nugget can now use it comfortably. Yeah! Yes! You go Nugget! You can jump! Gatsby found another Heidi. Oh wow Gatsby! Now you had so much fun playing with the castle, you need to lie down. Gatsby needs to explore, of course. I think Ludo is living in this tower right here. 
And Sylvester is living in this one over there. Yay! Nugget has found out how to use the ramp! Even though we kind of messed up with the measure band. Nugget spreading the rumor that there's food. Okay, well I would say the new castle is a success with the guinea pigs and I have so much fun. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I think the guinea pigs are as well. Look at that tiny little paw. Nugget is falling asleep. Oh, Nugget, do you like it so much upstairs? Nugget is sleeping up here. And there's Sylvester. As you can see, I put little Christmas hammocks in both of these towers and Nugget seems to love them so much because they're very very cozy they are very thick this is going to be it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and see you guys next time bye